Welcome back everybody. Uh, this is Jay with Retro Pop Gaming with my second uh, pre-recorded video playthrough series. I have not finished my first one, Little Dragon's Cafe, but I wanted to jump into something else because, well, I wanted to. And that's what we're going to do. Um, Moonlander, I've had it for a while. It's been out for a while. But I recently heard people on one of my podcasts I listened to talking about it. And I was like, wow, that sounds like I really need to get into this. Because I, I picked it up mostly because I thought the graphics looked great. And the gameplay looked um, intriguing. I, I'm still kicking myself for I have not tried it yet. But we're going to do that today. So without further ado, let's, let, let's just get started. Should be quite the funness. So let's check out the options. Let's see, we've got uh, language, um, English, <laughs> screen shake, I just leave that, I'll leave that. Um, difficulty. Cannot change while in dungeon. Hard. Recommended. Hard is recommended? Is there anything... Oh. Normal and then hard. Okay, that's really weird. Hard is recommended. Huh. Okay. Well, it says recommended and there's nothing under normal, so that would kind of be easy. Hard, I guess, would be normal. So, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it. Uh, sound. Yeah, I think we'll just leave that all as is. And controls, we'll figure that out as we go along. Move up, move down, left, right, looks good. Pendant shortcut, don't know what any of that means, but we're gonna find out as soon as we get into the game. So let's get started. Moonlighter by Between Dimensions, oh. By Between Dimensions DLC here, oh. I will have to check that out later, but for now, let's just get started with the game. Uh, a normal game slot, this is a normal game slot, everybody. <laughs> uh, hard. Recommended. Original difficulty level created by the developers. Recommended for most players. Alright. Let's give it a go. See what we're in for. Normally, I, I just stick to whatever says normal. I don't venture into the hard because I don't want to have to backtrack later on. <laughs> Among the stars of the night, there is a land as old as imagination. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. They called them the Dungeon, stranger ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Soon, as, <laughs> soon a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeon, this they named Rinoka. Among the settlers, two groups shined brightest. Heroes and merchants, glory and riches. But the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Will of Moonlighter. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. That's not an actual sentence. <laughs> that would be... After a comma, but that on its own is not a sentence. <laughs> That's weird. A little translation error there, I think. Unless I'm just reading it wrong, which could also be a very good possibility. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, what's up, dude? See, I love this animation. It looks so great. He's got gray hair just like me. <laughs> what? <gasps> what's going on? Okay. Oh, this is like tutorial-ish stuff. Just telling me how I can move around. Okay. What did I just run over? It looks like a table with paper on it. Yes, destroy everything in the first few seconds of the game. Yes. I'm already in a dungeon? That's crazy. ZL to... Oh! Dark Souls! Dark Souls! Dark Souls! <laughs> Dark Souls Dodge. Yes. Yes. Rawr, rawr. <laughs> I love it. Let's see. Z. Z. L. Wait. Can, oh, okay. So he just does the same thing. But he can do it over gaps. Yes. I wonder what happens if I... Oh, okay. So you can't 
You can't fall off, technically. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lesson learned. Okay. Okay, it's still showing... Oh, so I can do that over monsters? Or past them? Okay. Oh! I walked straight into him, and it killed me. But, apparently, I can dodge... I can Dark Souls past him. Dark Souls! This is the ultimate move in any video game. <laughs> the Dark Souls dodge, okay. I'm still doing the same thing. Okay, yes, we know that ZL does everything, okay. A. Do I have a sword? Ooh, I got- Oh, I have a broom, okay. I have a broom. Yes! Just call me Link. Yeah! Yeah, eat my broom! Eat my broom, you little pink boogers. Whatever you are. Can I do like a spin attack? I don't know what those things are. Let's see. ZR. Oh, if my health is down, that is... It looks like that is a health container, so, okay. So I attack with a broom. Very cool. Okay, B. I don't know what... Oh, it's a charge attack. Oh, yeah! Oh, very cool. Ah, uh, watch out for me, buddy! Ba -ba bam Oh no! I'm hurt! Picking up some stuff. Ooh, open. What do we have? What do we have here? Uh, fabric. Yes. What do I do? I do? Ta how do I take that? Do I take it with a ZR? Okay, that checks it. Okay. How do I put it in my... Let's see. Grab, hold, stack, back, close. Uh, L. Quick move all. Okay. Cool. Let's go see what that other stuff was. Foundry rests. No idea. Okay. Dark Souls. Let's do that. Uh, Kamehameha! Yes! <laughs> Open that up. Anything in here? Got some more foundry rests. Well, I guess that'll tell me what this is. The remains of an old foundry. If the golems are created, what created them? Ooh, mystery. Mystery already. A broken sword. Hey, hey! You like that? Quick move. Quick move. Alright. Yes, because I need a sword, because th this broom thing is just not gonna... It's not gonna... <laughs> not gonna do it for a while. Do not think so. Alright. Whoa! Ah! Oh my gosh, how is everything killing me already? There's too much stuff here. Am I supposed to kill these guys? Or am I supposed to just die? I think I'm supposed to just die. I, there's no way I can survive that. Please tell me I'm not supposed to kill those guys. With a freaking broom. Okay. One of those instances in the game where you're supposed to die. I'm like, what? <laughs> What is going on? This is way too much too soon. Oh, it's Master Roshi. Before he was Master Roshi. Oh, what a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit, Will. I have you now. Well, he, first he calls me kid and then he calls me by my name. Normally my, my playthrough videos, I try to keep them to about a half an hour each, but this one might be a little longer since it's the first video of the series. See how long the tutorial takes to get to a good stopping point. Nice of him to bring me back to my house. Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you are curious of the dungeons? Cool, dungeons. There is no doubt you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Ugh, well, what's going on? Morning, boy! I like how he calls me boy, because, like, I'm old, but he's way older, but he still calls me boy. <laughs> Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Ugh. Too much to drink last night, old man. <laughs> Will, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family. The only one left to run Moonlighter. 
You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Very nice Legend of Zelda reference right there. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need now for it. Need for it now. There, how about we saw that? Maybe this is like a Link when he's really old. Oh. Oh, it looks like a sword and a shield. All right. Bring it on, old man. Now then, get up. You are wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. Yes, I do love the uh, the sprite work in this game. Very, very nice. Very, very Are these my shoes? Put your shoes on, buddy. <laughs> What's X do? Open up. No? Nothing? Can't do anything? Okay, can't do anything while I'm in here, it doesn't look like. Can I open that? Nope, can't open that. Can I open this? What's this? Nothing? A book? Can't open... Okay, okay, I can't do anything in bed. Can I go back to sleep? Screw this old man, I'm going back to sleep! <laughs> Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now. Open the shop up and allow the customers in. Oh, do I have to actually go to the door? Hold to open shop and A to exit. I will open shop. Hello, people. Hi. Welcome to my store. Don't go behind the desk, please. Thank you. Oh, she's happy. Okay. You're welcome. Oh. Do I sell it? Do I just... Okay. Did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customer's expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. Hey buddy, how's it going? Hey buddy. <laughs> dot dot dot. Oh, too expensive, eh? I don't think I need to tell you that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned? Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and in low supply. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information you have gathered <laughs> on discovered wares and artifacts. Okay. ZR. Alright, it's crystals. Is that what it's highlighted? No, it's not really highlighted on anything. Um, X again? Wait. Oh, okay. Would seem the sun has fallen for the day. Well, that was a short day. <laughs> I'd best head off. You will pick up more on your own. Restoring this shop to its full glory? That responsibility falls to you, not I. It's in your blood, Will. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far, and use that pendant, boy. Music's really good, too. I do enjoy the music. Oh, it's saving. <gasps> it's a little quill writing in the thing. Go on now. These weary bones of mine must rest. Go okay, wait, where am I supposed to go? Where am I going? Ooh. Ooh, that's my shield. Back off. Back off, I got a shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it. Bring it. Oh, I can't do that charge thing. <laughs> I can switch to my broom, though. If I wanna... <laughs> yes! Yeah, take the broom. <laughs> take that. Okay. Um. Wow, okay, it's really not... Oh! I'm destroying your stuff, old man. Y'all don't need no Wait, how did I jump on top of it? <laughs> that was kind of weird. Dodge roll, dodge roll. Chop down some trees. <laughs> Slice up some people. Hello. The people of Renoka, 
Was that how you say it? Rinoga? Are so accustomed to cultural artifacts from the dungeons. They have become a part of our daily lives, even a part of our food. Food? Y'all eat artifacts? What's up, dude? Masa, my son, when I find you. Oh, Will, have you seen Masa around by chance? Hmm, I don't think so. Alright, let's see here. What is this place? Is this my shop? Read. Dungeons up that way. So, does he want me to go to the dungeon? Is this or is this my shop? Well, this is the Moonlighter. Okay, so he's not gonna let me go back in. You got a new sword, don't you? Head on off to the dungeon, boy. Hmm, okay. I wonder if it matters like which dungeon I go to first. Oh, what's this? Who can I like have pets or uh, livestock as well? All right, let's go check out this dungeon. Dungeon. Did you say dungeons? Dungeons. Graham. Do I find stuff in those, or maybe it's just kind of pointless? Ooh, what's... Okay, so let's see here. Desert dungeon. Only f only for heroes. Okay, well, I'm definitely not a hero right now. Tech dungeon, no entry. Forest dungeon. Dungeon available to heroes. Not recommended for merchants. Oh, fine. Golem dungeon. Dungeon available to merchants and heroes. But what's this big thing up here, though? Like, what's all this business? Oh, that's the fifth door that they're talking about. Ah. ah. Well, let's, uh, let's go back in, I guess. See what happens. Figure out how to use that pendant so that I don't uh, wind up with a hangover. I have to have the old man save me again. Golem Dungeon. Yeah. All right. So let's um. Okay. Y is looks like Y is my little uh, pendant thingy. What's up, guys? Yeah. Eat it. Eat it. Yeah! Bite me! Now, there's probably nothing in any of this stuff, so... I'll probably be able to get, like, a hammer or something. Maybe I can break these rocks at some point. Would be nice. Okay, does he have a pattern? Looks like he hits twice. Okay. It's a little hard, not too bad. He didn't give me anything though. Darn it. Give me stuff. I need more stuff. I only have four vials of health on me. Ooh, okay. Whoa! Ah. Oh. Can't really see a way to. Mwahaha! Oh no! <laughs> I thought I could. Oh, I... No, I can roll past that, but. Ugh. Mwahaha! Give me stuff. Alright, I better use some health stuff. Okay, I've only got the one there. Let's see, should we go left or right? <laughs> left or right? Left or up? Let's go left. Yeah! Eat stuff! Okay, there's nothing else in here. Alright. We'll go back. Okay. Enemies do not respawn, so that's a good thing. Alright. Stuff over here. That's it. Looks like somebody is trying to survive out here. Is that skeleton moving? Or is that just me? Oh, he's got like a little... Something shiny on him. Read. To a person of helpful, far, <laughs> hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say I fared better than he. He caught me spying on him near the Guardian's room. He dropped a couple items when he fled. 
Fallud. Oh, <laughs> one of which is this map diagram. Whatever it is, I was right. They called me crazy. Said old crazy Pete Dunn gone lost his marbles. But I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to a giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth door of Renoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell. <laughs> but the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please open the fifth door of Renoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. Oh, did I... Oh. Big boss gonna... Ki Big boss gonna kill me! I was supposed to let them all out. Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah! Big Boss gonna be so upset with little me. Uh oh. Okay, so what do we do? Also, this is the little map thing, so... There's four keys. Okay. What was... Whoa, what's that? Okay, hold on. What's going on here? Two coins. We get five coins. It charges it up. Hold Y to go back. Okay. So does it want me to do that now, or... I don't understand the... Um... I can't go into my thing? Wait, I... I can't leave! I can't leave? There's more dungeon to explore, what's going on here? Okay, I guess I have to go back. Oh, it's, it's making me go back for some reason. Escaped with pendant. I didn't get to very far at all. All right, that's fine. Okay. B. Go to town. I guess that's. Or A. I guess A works too. <laughs> I did it, old man. Oh, it's... I have fireflies trapped in my little fence there. <laughs> ah, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. Finally learned to use that pendant properly? It's about time, boy. Dot dot dot. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You! You found old Pete? Dead? <laughs> See? This is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will! Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem dungeon. And look after Moonlighter. Da, da, da. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in, attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently they need some startup capital first. Would be nice to see some new life in Rinoka. Nice indeed. Nice indeed. So that is the board, okay. All right. Let's see what this says here. Investments. Uh, town? Okay, we've got a couple merchants, it looks like, already. What's this one? Vulcan's Forge. Do you feel the dungeons are too hard? Tired of your old weapon? I can solve that if you bring me enough money and material. Bring me enough money! <laughs> I forge to be reckoned with. A, a forge to be reckoned with. Excuse me. Um, okay, the Wooden Hat. Is brute force getting you nowhere in the dungeons? Visit the wooden hat to find potions and enchantments for this and that. And then we've got... Oh, it says what they are. Le Retailer! <laughs> Tired of looking for items in the dungeons? Leave that job to others and come to La Retailer, where you'll find the finest items in Renoka. Le Retailer, because life's complicated enough, huh? <laughs> Sorry. Banker, interested in making your money work for you? Trust your money in my hands, and I will make it grow before your eyes. Signed, the Banker. <laughs> right. And Hawker. As a hawker, I've traveled the world looking for techniques to create objects that can inspire people. Visit my cart to find objects that can make your shop look more interesting to visitors. Very cool. All right. So I've got $100. And that's it. Good to know. What is all this stuff? Uh, shop. Oh, my shop can upgrade. That's cool. Looks like maybe... Yeah, it looks like I can upgrade quite a bit. That's kind of cool. Alright, I don't want to like read that too much. I don't want to spoil, spoil it. Cool. 
Alright. Well, I don't have any money. Sorry, guys. But uh, I will definitely uh, donate some moolah when I can. Uh. Let's see. What's old man got to say? Anything else? Boy, Renoka has seen better days when your grandpa first opened Moonlighter. People from all over the lands would come to visit the shop. The hustle and bustle was constant, but now... Hmm. Guess that's that. Anything else going on? Okay, I think the shop is like... Okay, so this is obviously too much. Um... If that costs too much, can I... Okay, here we go. I can adjust the price a little bit. Let's see. Maybe bring it down to 120? How about that? Can I open the shop? Okay, it's, it's, it is not time to open the shop. <laughs> I like how there's a little sign above the little door right there. This is home. And this is shop. <laughs> That's funny. What is this? A read. Yes, we've already seen that. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's just... Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, we know. A to open. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I can put stuff away. Hey, hey, look at that. Okay, so that's my backpack. So I can hold stuff on my on my person. And then there is... Um, okay. Boom. Just unload all of it. Okay. What's that stuff? Rich jelly. Ooh. And a broken sword. Okay, put that stuff away. What's in here? Oh, just more storage, it looks like. Okay. And A, hold to sleep. Okay, let's do that. All right. The 3rd of January. Okay. We are up. It's a new day. Okay. Uh, hey, we're at the half hour mark. I think we're going to stop right here for this video. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this first little intro video to Moonlighter on the Nintendo Switch. I am pretty excited to see what the rest of the game is going to hold for us. Normally I uh, I stream games over at twitch.tv slash retropopgaming. I stream every Saturday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. It's a new schedule starting this week. Uh, if you go to twitch.tv slash retropopgaming, I do have a section on there for my schedule. Uh, I also have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and obviously YouTube. So where this is going to be hold. <laughs> this is where this is going to be. <laughs> That's where this is going to be home to these videos. So thanks everybody for coming and watching. Um, you can also go to retropopgaming.com where you can find a link to all the aforementioned uh, social medias. So. That's going to be it for this video. Hope to catch you guys next time. We'll catch you later. I said catch you later. Again. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> I was going to end up with you.